What's up guys, Lou in here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back for another pros and cons review. Today I'm gonna be talking about the Pre-Q73, which is a class A discrete microphone preamplifier from Golden Age Projects. Right at the top of my video, I gotta mention the demo video that they've already made on their YouTube channel for this particular product. There's a link for it below. Make sure you watch it after you're done watching my video. But uh, just, I gotta mention, it's one of the best, most comprehensive demos I've ever seen of any product. It's very detailed, very easy to understand, and you get to hear exactly what this unit does. And I'm also gonna be giving you an audio sample, but mine's gonna be a little bit different than theirs. And um, anyway, let's talk about this thing, okay? So across the front panel, we're just gonna go left to right. Obviously, you have the on-off switch, quarter-inch input. At the top, you see a phantom power on and off, EQ on and off, DI on and off and a high and low Z switch for high or low Z microphones, depending on the impedance. You have the master gain knob, and then you have the low filter knob and switch for 55 hertz and 175 hertz. To the right of that, the high filter knob with the switch below it for eight kilohertz and 12 kilohertz. And then it's master output knob, and finally the phase inversion switch. On the back, you have a quarter inch out, an XLR out, an insert, which is great if you want to attach an external effects unit, if you want to, uh, another EQ or something like that, but it's really nice to be able to have a way to patch in external hardware easily. Um, it's not an easy thing, like if you have like a basic interface, that's, you know, not, not easy to do. Uh, anyway, you got a line in and a microphone in, and of course the power over on the other side, super simple layout, very easy to understand. Now, what does it sound like? This is basically a circuit clone of a very famous preamp called the Neve 1073. Now, this is not a tube microphone preamp, right? So it's not gonna necessarily warm up around the edges or whatever. I've heard a lot of reviewers say that this is gonna warm up your recordings. I don't think that's what it does at all, and I sort of wonder if those guys know what they're talking about because it's sort of just totally inaccurate if you ask me. Um, what this does do tonally, the, the characteristics of this particular preamp, it tends to bring the mids out more. There's a bump in the mid range. It, it, that's where all the detail is, right? So if you're talking about like guitar, um, especially acoustic guitar, that's where like a lot of that sort of like the high end of the low end lives, if that makes any sense to you. Um, a lot of the punch of an acoustic guitar lives in the range that this helps push. Uh, if you're talking about voices, it's sort of that breathy tone that, you know, sort of from the neck, that really highly detailed sound. Talking about drums, absolutely, that's where the kick drum punch lives, that's where the snap of the snare drum lives. Um, so, like I said, it's it's not gonna warm up your tone so much, especially if the EQs are off. This is what I'm talking about, just the preamp tone all by itself. It doesn't warm stuff up. What it does do is bring the details out of the mid range, and it's awesome. It does it in a very musical way, very characteristic to that Neve 1073, if any of you out there have used it. This sounds very, 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 very similar to that. Um, but then also you have the power of the EQs on the front of this. And that's something that was really big to me, you know, like, yeah, you get a preamplifier for many different reasons. If it's a uh, boosting gain of low signal inputs or just to have a different color on your recording. Um, it's really nice, you know, just for those reasons. Now this thing has EQs on it and they're awesome shelving EQs and they're totally musical, they sound great, and it really does tie into, a while ago I made a video about talking, or about mixing at the source, or EQing at the source, rather. So, you know, like, is your instrument in the right place in the room? Is the microphone on the right place on the instrument? The more you can get it to sound good before you push a chord, the easier your life is in the mixing stage, right? So, if you can either EQ out, or, you know, the bad stuff of your instrument or your room, or you want to accentuate it a little bit, either or. It's really nice to be able to do that with an EQ on your preamp before you have to hit the record button. It just makes your life easier in the mixing stage. Okay, now I've done enough yakking. I'm gonna to switch to a different view and we're gonna actually listen to this thing working and so you can hear that. Let's get to that shot right now. All right, so I recorded both a voice and acoustic guitar to listen to here. I wanna say that I did sort of 
turn the gain knob a little bit, well, probably a lot more than most people would, but I did that on purpose because I really wanted you guys to hear the tonal characteristics of the preamp itself, okay? Um, so you might have to dial back some of the mid-range boost in your ears, in your imagination, you know? Um, but like I said, I did it on purpose so you could really hear what the thing does, okay? So we're gonna start with um, acoustic guitar. You're gonna hear it with no pre-Q at all is the first thing. Second one is the pre-Q with no EQ at all, but just the pre-Q 73 by itself. Then the third one is the preamp with an EQ. I think I, I dialed in a little bit of low end and a little bit of high end, um, just so you can hear what the EQ does. So I'm gonna push play, let's get listening. Okay, so that should be pretty obvious to you if you were listening, you know, with headphones or something. Um, that mid-range boost, man, it is totally delicious. I love what it does. I love this preamp. Um, now, let's go down and listen to the voices. Again, same thing, been pushed a little bit extra hard just so you can hear it. And the same thing, it's uh, just the microphone plugged straight into the interface, then with just the Pre-Q 73, and then the Pre-Q 73 <laughs> plus its EQ, it's a mouthful. Um, I also want to say that on this, I was using my Shure SM7B. All you SM7B users out there, if you're looking for a preamp for that microphone, definitely just buy this one and thank me later. You're going to love it. It's, it really, it, it's really great. Really, really great with the SM7B. Anyway, let's listen to this recording. Here we go. Check, check. One, two, three, four, five. Check, check. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Check, check. One, two, three, four, 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 five. Okay, so again, you should have heard the huge difference on the SM7B, certainly. Um, you know, that microphone is really dark and bass heavy, very dry sounding. So, you know, my favorite actually on this is the middle one uh, with no EQ, just the Pre-Q 73 sort of pushed a little hard. I really was surprised how much I liked that tone. Um, so now let's get to the cons of this preamp. You know, there are a couple things that I don't, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, would I still buy the thing? Definitely yes. Um, things I'm not to totally excited about are the fact that the impedance switch for the lower high Z pops like crazy on mine. Um, if you switch it, you know, you'll watch the channel on the interface go slam and the red light comes on and whatever. It's not gonna break anything or hurt anybody's anything. Um, it's a little loud in the headphones, um, but otherwise it's just not a great thing. I'm not a huge fan of switches that pop. I wish it didn't. The other thing is the master, that main gain knob right in the middle of it is a little on the stiff and chunky side. Um, I understand that they were trying to, you know, give you the same feel as the knob on the 1073, um, but it's, you know, whatever. It's 2014 and I'm aware of other switches, other knobs that have stages that are a lot easier and the feel is a lot nicer and whatever. It's not a big deal. It's me nitpicking, and I, but I'm trying to give you guys honest reviews and talk about the good and the bad. Um, so anyway, that's it. Those, those are the two quote unquote bad things I can talk about. They're not, you know, whatever. They're huge nitpicky things on, on my side. Um, now, the other thing I do want to say is the very first one that I got, I had a problem with it, so I had to return it. So I had to deal with their customer service people. They were awesome. They returned or sent out another one, a replacement unit immediately. It was a total pleasure to work with their customer service people. So don't worry about that. They were, you know, happy to stand behind their product and I got another one and it's worked flawlessly ever since, okay? So you guys definitely check out the website for the Golden Age people and check out their demo because it is awesome and subscribe to my channel because I'd love that. And for you guys who are regular viewers, I love your support. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you very soon, all right? See ya.